How's it going everyone? I really don't know how to start this video, but I've been thinking about this a lot recently and it's... This video is going to be about my concerns with YouTube as a platform and kind of where it's headed right now because it is a bit of a joke as to where the platform is headed. And I'll show you guys why I'm so concerned in just a moment. But first let me mention that the platform is going in a direction where the long form videos, so the videos that YouTube is known for, the reason why the whole platform blew up in a nutshell is because you had those long videos that you could just watch on the platform. Those videos are now just being brushed to the side for the most part. And it's kind of disgusting to see, but it's being brushed aside and shorts are just being spammed in your face. On top of that, the search engine feels very different, I want to say, compared to how it used to feel back in the day. So yeah, I've, I've booted up like my other brand new, by the way, brand new YouTube account. Okay, I'm going to show you this right now. So look at this. Like what is happening here? It's boom, shorts. Like look how much space that this takes up on the page. And the people that you're subscribed to almost never appear on this homepage anymore, which is disgusting. You have to go out of your way to click this subscriptions button in order to see who you're subscribed to and see the video. Which to me is mind blowing because what YouTube used to do is on your homepage, sure you would get suggested videos, but at the very top, it would always almost always prioritize the people that you were subscribed to first and then it would suggest new stuff under that but now not only does it shove shorts right there at the top it also just shoves all the people that you subscribe to away unless you've been watching them so that that brings me to another point which is the algorithm they tell you that the audience dictates how well a video is doing that is not true. That is not true in the slightest form. The algorithm does. I mean, let's be honest. I mean, it should be kind of a no brainer. So why do they push this agenda that the audience controls the algorithm? Because they, they don't believe me. They don't like you could do a video on a topic that the audience loves and the top, the video wouldn't get pushed out because the algorithm just doesn't like that video for some reason. It very much feels like a lottery at this point and incredibly random, incredibly random for both. Okay, let me say this as well for both big and small creators, big creators right now are also struggling with maintaining their channels. And it, and it blows my mind because it clearly shows that there's something wrong with the platform. If someone with 15, 20, 50 million subscribers can't even keep afloat anymore, which is ridiculous. And I've heard about um, a specific one. I'm going to name them here. Ep Fox. If I search him... Uh right here into the search this guy right here he makes educational content about how to like set up your recording and your streaming and gives really inf valid informational videos about how to set up you know your and how to get yourself up and going to making really high quality videos from a more technical side and look at this six days ago and 1.8k views you cannot tell me that that title is bad. You cannot tell me that the description is bad or that the tags are bad because if I go in on this specific video, wow, we get hit with an ad. Warra YouTube. But all of this is like, he knows how to do this by now. He has 300,000 subscribers. So why are, is, his, is his video getting 1,800 views within a week? For someone that has 300,000 subscribers? Like, do you not see the disconnect there? Like, and it even follows the theme of his channel. So it's not like he's jumping from 
point A to point B all of a sudden. You know, he's still within the consistent branding of his channel when it comes to the video. So why is it not doing well, YouTube? And he also mentioned how shorts are not worth doing either because shorts generate you no income. Shorts generate almost to no money compared to YouTube, uh, YouTube ad revenue, like on a regular video. And the thing with shorts is no one's gonna, there's a very, very, very small, I mean like not even 1%, of the audience that watches your shorts will move over to your long form content. You know why? Because they separate the two. They don't really promote you or enable you to take this audience from this short to check out your channel, check out your longs. That's not how YouTube operates right now. And that, that's why there's such a disconnect between, there's a very clear disconnect between the shorts and the long form videos that people are making on the channel now. Um, and I have a feeling like they're just focusing on the shorts, even though it's not even benefiting YouTube that much. Like, let's be honest, because as I just said, shorts generate almost to no income. And on top of that, every time you upload a short, it feels like a lottery because you're not gonna be guaranteed to get views on that short either. So who is this platform for? Like, this is what I'm asking. I'm a variety channel, I understand. It's a very broad market. There's a lot of people doing it. Uh, and it is a, a lot harder to grow, but I feel like I've been putting in blood, sweat, and tears into making these videos look good, into editing. Um, I learned a bunch of SEO. So like tags, titles, descriptions, how to write all of that tag, again, tags, like I've said, um, but none of it is working anymore. I feel like I am stuck because of the algorithm and because of how YouTube has designed the platform. It doesn't promote you as a creator, no matter what you do. Do you know what I mean? Unless you hit that one lucky star, because yes, luck is involved. I understand that as well. But there's also a heavy amount of skill involved. And I feel like I've picked that up over the past four years to the point where I should, I feel like I should be higher. I feel like I should be a lot higher, but I am not. And that's not even you guys to blame. That's not even the audience to blame. It's YouTube. It's YouTube alone just pushing my videos aside and being like, here's this irrelevant video. Like, it's just not great. Uh, let me give you another example here. If I search something like a term, you'll be able to see what comes up first. And it's actually insane. So if I search up, uh, I don't know, Ghost of Tsushima. Because that is what I have been playing. Look at what comes up. Alright, fine. Fair enough. That. Advert. And then, and then shorts. Again, shorts, right? And, it, and look at this. Half of this stuff is old videos from back then. You know? And I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. It feels so random how YouTube is promoting this stuff. So... Let's try another game, GTA 5. And I search that up, look, we have some random ass information about the game, we have another advert. And then we have a bunch of other stuff, and then another advert, and then... What, like, what is this? What has a Sidemen, one million dollar reality show, got to do with GTA 5? Do you see why I'm so frustrated at this point or no? Because the algorithm is so in is, is in such a mess right now. And it's also being pushed like shorts are being pushed almost more than actual videos. It's really hard to grow a channel now and sustain or make a living at this point. Um and I really wanted to vent my frustration with that. I really do. 
I'm still gonna do it, you know, I'm still gonna do YouTube because it's something I love. I love the interaction I can get with an audience through it. Um, the, the link and the, the community we have, even though it's not big, I still love all of you guys that watch all my stuff. So it'd be a shame to just stop and call it quits at this point. I've already been four years into this, you know. Um, and just quitting is a, it feel, would feel like throwing all of that effort away um, at, at this point. And I still want to believe that YouTube will improve at some point. But that hope for the platform getting better is dwindling for me from upload to upload. Um, but just know that's not what's going to make me stop uploading. It's not enough to make me want to stop uploading. It would have to be something really ridiculous um, for me to stop uploading, like the site shutting down or something like that. But it's crazy. It's, it's just It just blows my mind how... YouTube has changed over the last four years, four or five years, ever since shorts got added. Uh, and it's just a shame. It is a shame. Uh, because now I feel like with the algorithm, the way the algorithm also works is you have a niche, right? For your channel. You're only allowed to stick to that niche. But even now, even though I had a niche for Incredibox videos, those are now failing. So where, what do I do anymore? Um, but the plan forward is obviously to stop caring about the numbers because at the end of the day, YouTube is my hobby. It's not really a job yet until I start earning full-time money from this. And <laughs> I, I just hope that I can earn a living by doing this someday, someday in the future and be a big creator and do a bunch of other things besides just gaming as well. Um, but it's just the platform is not allowing me to grow uh, no matter what I try. So I don't know what is happening. That's enough rambling for me. Um, I was really concerned about just the future of my channel and the future of YouTube in general and what is happening. I, but I've been getting distracted with a lot of other things like streaming and things like that. It's kind of helped take my mind off of all the negative things that are happening on YouTube. So yeah, I don't know. That would be it for me. Let me know if you agree. Let me know um, if you're also a creator that's been struggling with the platform. And honestly, I'll see you guys around, man. Uh, I might do more of these personal type videos or on just stuff I find funny or when, so, when some piece of news comes up. But yeah, I'll see you guys later. Peace out.